Well, welcome back, YouTube. Um, I once again apologize in yet another video of me being like two months behind on my video updates. But back to the show here. Um, I'm back in the Maze Pro DT cover crop experiment. I'm actually standing in a spot where I was planting through dense cover with no guidance, no row markers. Had no idea where the heck I was. I thought I was on a row, and as you can see, I was pretty consistently gapped but i thought there was rose planted here and uh well you can see there's nothing so i was just deceived so anyway thought you'd be interested to find this was actually planted about two weeks prior to this and look how much taller this is it's almost the same height but we're on a hill standing um so this was planted with my old alice chalmers planter this was planted with a kinsey 3600 and just to give you guys a little bit of an update for both pieces of of this puzzle this was planted about a week uh well within a week of being roll crimped um the termination was somewhat ineffective therefore the vetch came back after the rye and vetch was terminated and the other thing here to note is i had smooth closing wheels on that kinsey 3600 no row cleaners just no tail calders so this actually you'll see is not cleared out which you don't necessarily need a row cleaner for um you don't necessarily need a row cleaner for late planting like this because this was planted you know around memorial day um and then i came back with the antique planter and and it was simply a function of i didn't have time i came back and planted this bit um you'll see the seed spacing is uniform versus here there's like a big gap and then they're stacked up that's a function of a old antique planter but you will also notice how thin the stems are there, how thick the stems are here. I don't know why that is. Um, I almost wonder if it's a function of the row cleaner being, uh, uh, you know, making such a nice soil bed uh, for that to thrive when it came up. This was horribly, horribly drought struck. Um, so it, it was, it hadn't rained uh, for a little bit it rained prior to planting and it hadn't rained for almost a month so this corn was very dry however i noticed our neighbor's corn was wrinkled while some of this was actually doing quite well and even in that drought i could go and peel this back and find all this bare soil um like once you peeled it back to bare soil it, it actually made clumps i am impressed with this corn um now one other thing to note here with this test plot was because i had an ineffective termination where the vets came back um because all i did was roll crimped one pass what i did do is i did respray when i was respraying the rest of my corn i actually resprayed this so it did get round up to make sure it was dead and this corn had a rough start because it had to compete with the vet whereas this corn was barely even growing when i sprayed it so this corn basically got to start off with a clean slate this corn had to compete in its early days maybe that's what's wrong um another thing i notice is severe insect damage here uh on these leaves there's like none to speak of over here a little bit like there's some which that actually looks like something like it's kinked there but like here we see a little bit of insect damage but a whole different story here both corn is tasseling this corn has been in tassel this corn is later and i think that's you know because it was done uh planted later so interesting to see the stalk difference and that could be a different variety i don't know this was ex this entirely was for the purposes of finding out if i could plant through hairy vetch and we did it uh i'm going to walk down now well yeah, maybe i'm gonna walk down through some rows and find where there is no vetch cover crop let's just take ourselves a look as we go down, we're actually going to find a lower seed rate. And what I'm actually finding is the lower seed rate. Holy cow, that corn. Look at that corn next to my thumb. This is a, I can almost not reach around this corn stalk. That's impressive. Um, as we get lower, the cover crop was seeded at a lower and lower rate successively until we get to where there was none. And pardon, you know, I had problems with my planter. <laughs> You know, it's part of a learning curve. So if we go down far enough, we should come to a place in this field where there is no cover crop. 
I'm gonna have a 10 minute video just walking down here. Okay, here we are, we're on the line. Cover crop, no cover crop. You just see corn residue versus cover crop residue. This is some of the tallest corn I've actually seen. And if you look, it's not even in tassel yet. This is actually impressively tall corn. We got double ears. This is some nice corn. Um, but for side-by-side -side comparison, um, I don't actually think that the drought really affected this corn. So I think it actually looks really great uh, and maybe even healthier. Um, however, uh, there's, there's some ups and downs to both. If we get an August drought where the other corn is really struggling, this corn right here that I'm walking through will be better shaped. All right. Goodbye, guys. Tune in for another video.